Hi, welcome to Trade Levels Indicators. My name is Erwin and today I want to look with you at the latest indicator, the manual backtest indicator. Um, but before we dive into it, let me just uh, quickly remind you, uh, you can find us at tradelevelsindicators.com. Uh, on there, if you go to products, indicators, you can find uh, everything we have to offer. And like I said, today we're going to look at the manual backtester, uh, which you can find over here. Um, if you are interested in, uh, in it, um, note we do have a five day free trial of all our indicators. It's completely free. We, we don't need any credit card or payment details. Um, we only ask for email address. Uh, be sure to read the uh, instructions or watch the video on how to download and install it. Um, uh, but that way you can uh, test everything out and try it out uh, before you uh, decide to invest in one of our indicators. So um, let's go back uh, to the chart and look at the manual backtest uh, indicator. Now the manual backtest indicator allows you to uh, backtest trading strategies without any coding knowledge. Um, as you know, there, there are two ways to, to uh, backtest strategies. Uh, you could make a, uh, an, a trading bot or, or an automated strategy. And if you have one, then it's very easy to, uh, to backtest it with using NinjaTrader. Um, but the clue is of course to build one. And that's very hard. You need, you need a lot of knowledge about coding. Uh, and most people just don't, don't have that. And although there are tools out there which makes it easier, like the uh, Bloodhound and Blackbird, um, it's still not that uh, easy for most people. Now, the other option uh, which most people use is, well, just open the chart and um, look at all the entries and exits your trading strategy would have given, uh, write them down and use an Excel sheet uh, to, uh, to keep track of uh, the losers and the winners. And then after some while, you know uh, how the strategy would have performed. And this is where the uh, manual backtest indicator really helps a, uh, a lot. Uh, it really helps you uh, uh, quickly um, drawing up trades and getting all the statistics you would like to see. So, um, well, let's dive into it. I already added the, uh, the backtest indicator to my chart. And when you do that, you can see there is a little note in the top that it's uh, not finding any trades. Um, uh, so you should draw some. Uh, so we're going to do that in a second. Uh, the other thing I added was the simple uh, the opening range. As you can see, just the two lines to highlight the uh, opening range and, and give me a clue where the day starts. And we're using the 512. Uh, high Kanashi uh, tick chart. Now, the, uh, the idea about the, uh, behind the strategy I want to backtest is, is, is very simple. Um, if you have price moving up like this, uh, let's say that price is in a trend moving up and it makes, uh, it breaks the previous uh, swing low. So it, in this case, uh, we would have a higher low here and uh, then we get a lower high here. Then we would simply uh, look for a retracement at the 50% and see if we can get a trade of at least 12 ticks uh, here. Uh, in this case short, we would use a eight tick, uh, an 8 tick uh, stop loss and a 12 tick target and we will use a runner to trail our uh, runners. So that, that would be the strategy, it's very simple, just a break of the previous uh, swing low or swing high. Now to draw up a trade on your chart, um, that's very simple. If you go to the drawing menu, um, you can find the new TDU short trade and long trade right here. Note I did map those to my uh, uh, keyboard shortcuts, uh, the hotkeys, so I can easily access them without going to the menu all the time. Um, if you, for example, take it a long trade, and let's say you, you, I don't know, you want to open a trade right here. You simply click and drag it up to uh, where you want to uh, have your target. So let's say you exit here and then you can see, okay, this would be the, the entry, this would be the exit and the stop loss is already marked uh, down here. Now the default for the stop loss is eight ticks and the default for the contracts is, uh, is one, uh, but you can easily change those. So let's say if you want three contracts and maybe 12 ticks Stop less, uh, you can change that and immediately all the numbers will change as well. 
and you can also save those as uh, defaults so uh, next time they will use uh, be used automatically so uh, yeah you can configure this to you to your liking um, I will keep it uh, at uh, default uh, right now um, when you have uh, drawn the trade and of course you can uh, modify it uh, you can move the entry around your stop loss around uh, the entry price um, and of course also the uh, the exit so you're completely free to uh, to manipulate it and um, in case you have a loser then just drag it down in for a long trade in this case until it hits the uh, the stop loss uh, the same goes of course for a short trade if you open a short trade so let's say you want a short right here uh, you can do the same uh, with the stop loss on top now and the, um, the target uh, below now you probably already saw that once you draw a trade the, uh, the panel pops up with all the trading details uh, it shows the net profit, the win ratio, the profit factor, expected value, drawdown well basically all the metrics you would uh, be interested in and it also shows the uh, of course the stop loss for every trade, the risk to reward ratio, the number of contracts and the profit and loss in both dollars and, and ticks. So um, quite some information there. And well let's just start with, uh, with drawing up some trades according to the, uh, the strategy we are going to test. So here we clearly can see price moving up, making a high low, high low, high low, high low and then boom we get a lower low so that would be the first trade of the day um, higher low of a lower low here is the, the 50 percent retracement <coughs> so that's where we would go short one tick in front of the uh, 50 and we would be looking for a 12 tick target now in this case we only get 10 so that means we hit our stop loss <coughs> before we hitting our target and let's say we trade with three contracts so that would be a loser first trade is a loser minus 300 dollars uh, and then let's look at the next trade i'm going to open up a little bit so we can see it more clearly um, same thing here we can see higher high lower high lower high and then again a higher high so this lower high gets broken by this higher high so we're going to look at the next retracement which is right here and we would go long here so this would be a long trade you can see that we never hit our stop loss so the first target would be 12 ticks with uh, two contracts and i'm going to draw up another one which we are going to trail and for trailing i'm just going to trail it under each of those red uh, smaller swings so i'm um, using the the swing lows as my trailing uh, as my trailing stop um, so the first one would be here then it would be here and finally i think it would be stopped out right there so one winner one loser uh, total net profit so far 200 dollars oh and let's remove this uh, Fibonacci retracement and a win ratio of 66 percent um, so we have two trades now <coughs> let's continue and look at the next one um, here we can see higher highs um, and if you, you just draw up the, 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 the trend channel you can already see that um, clearly this this lower low is breaking this uh, this small uptrend so we're going to look for the short and sadly the, the short is never offered so um, no trade here and we have to wait again um, well this swing uh, this swing is not, not broken this one is not broken but here we can see it it's breaking again and just if you draw a simple trend line you can see indeed that here we break the uh, the trend we get a uh, higher high again so we will be looking for a next trade from this low to in this case this high because it broke the uh, yeah it broke the price right here and this is the first retracement so here we would go long uh, again it never hit our our stop loss 
but it did hit our target, so that would be 12 ticks with two contracts. And another one for the runners. Um, that runner would be stopped out right here. So not much of a runner, but okay. At least it's a, it's a winner. So we already have five ticks now, or five trades. Um, let's see what else we can get. Here we can see the swing low breaking, this, these swing lows, uh, but we don't get a retracement, so there's no trade there. And the same goes for, for this one, there's no trade there. And from there on, price is just a little bit chopping around. I think this is the, the big swing low uh, and the big swing high, which has to be broken and it's just chopping around. And notice it's also at the end of the day, so no trades anymore, I think, for that day. So let's look at the next day. Um, this is uh, Friday. I remember this trade because it was the last trading day. Um, and again, we can see price moving lower, lower, lower. Um, but it doesn't break these uh, these highs. This is the last high uh, until here. Uh, but yeah, that, that's just a break of one tick. So not very convincing break. Uh, I would like to see a really convincing break, which this is not, so I'm not going to count this. Um, but here we can have a convincing break. It's clearly breaking this, uh, this swing. It's really clearly broken here. So we would be looking for the next short, which is right here. And then a short trade, we would open it like this. It gets eight ticks and then reverses, so that would have been a loser of three contracts okay and then we go back um, this swing clearly breaks the swings here but we don't get a retracement so there's not much to do and then i remember this trade because it was a loser and i took it um, this swing low clearly breaks these um, so we would have been looking for a short right here just gets three ticks and then reverses so again a uh, losing trade uh, let me double click on the anchors right there of three contracts and then finally we can see price is moving a little bit lower here also lower until it breaks the uh, previous swings right here uh, this was the one which made my day yesterday um, we can go like here again the um, can go long at the 50 let me remove these trend lines and uh, so we go long here we easily made the, the 12 ticks uh, two contracts and we have a runner left uh, and again we are just trailing the uh, the swing low so this would be swing low here swing low here swing low uh, swing low swing low swing low swing low swing low low and finally you get well that stopped out somewhere around here and that's the end of the uh, the day basically because uh, i didn't trade after it anymore so now we have like nine trades uh net profit almost 700 dollars Win ratio of 66%, uh, profit factor of 1.67, and uh, yeah, this is uh, this clearly shows how you can uh, quickly uh, and easily backtest your uh, trading strategies. Uh, now, of course, I, I, I only took nine trades in this uh, backtest. Uh, to get uh, accurate results, you need to have uh, uh, somewhere around one, 100 trades. Um, to yeah to, to get the more accurate results now if you don't have the time or uh, you cannot put in 100 trades uh, all at once that's understandable because um, yeah it takes time to to find them and mark them and uh, you might want to do that in uh, on into several days uh, and that's why we made these load and save buttons um, if you press save you can simply save your uh, your session uh, all your trades and uh, you can come back later and uh, continue so i just saved this and if i now press new then everything is gone 
so it's a complete clean chart again. And if I come back later and press load, I can simply load the trades and uh, let's try again. Load the trades and, and there they are all again. Um, and you can uh, continue uh, with your uh, with your backtesting. Uh, and of course, um, after loading and saving, you can uh, still uh, adjust all your trades uh, if you want to, or add new ones. Uh. So this is uh, how the uh, how the manual backtester uh, works. Um, if you have any questions, then then please let us know. Uh, again, note you can have a five-day free trial, so you can test it out yourself. Um, I guess that's it for today. I, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you have any feedback, then just let us know. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye.